This video is brought to you by AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more. You can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create the trailer title, create a new composition. Here I will name this composition as trailer title. Set time duration to 5 seconds. Here you can increase or decrease the time duration, depending on your titles, perfect. Now let's add the splash media file to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the splash media file, set the map black color as shown. Perfect. Now for this splash media file, press S to bring up scale. Now at start, create keyframe for scale, scale the image file to minimum 25%. Now at 1 second, increase scale value as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now again add the splash media file to the timeline. Add tint effect. Set the tint color as shown. Now press S to bring up scales. Create keyframe for scale. Reduce scale value as shown. Now go at end of the timeline. Increase the scale value as shown. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now for splash, press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, change opacity to, 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select both the layers, pre-compose them. Name it as Splash. Perfect. Now from Project Panel, let's add the Particle Media file to the timeline. For Particles Media file, 
change mode to add. Now let's add the tint effect to the particles media file, set the map white color red. Here you can see the preview. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the grunge media file to the timeline. For this media file, change mode to classic color dodge. Now let's set opacity to 50%. Here you can scale this grunge media file. Perfect. Now let's add the text. For this text layer, I will be using Onyx font family. Increase the font size. Align the text to the center. Here if you want you can reduce the gap between the lines. Also you can adjust the tracking value for the text layer. Perfect. Now let's add the grudge wall media file to the timeline, place it below text layer. Change track mat to, alpha mat title. Now select both grudge media file and text layer, pre-compose it. Name it as title. Perfect. Now select the rectangle tool. Now create mask over the title as shown. We will create multiple mask layer covering the text layer. You can edit the mask layer anytime. For each mask layer, we will create keyframe for opacity. At 2 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start set opacity to 0%. We will do the same for all the mask layers. Perfect, now press U to view created keyframes, here you can see all the mask layer are revealing at the same time, let's position the keyframes randomly, to get random text reveal. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for rough and edges, add it to the title composition. For rough and edges, set border to, 10. Set scale to, 50. Set stretch width and height to, 0 0.60. You can see the preview. Depending on your text, you can adjust the borders. You can also adjust the mask layer anytime. Perfect. You can see the complete preview. Similarly, you can create multiple title compositions and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.